Hi, I'm Melissa. I write a blog called MyWholeFoodLife.com and this is my very first video and I'm going to try to show you how to make almond milk. So to make almond milk you need a few things, uh, a fine mesh strainer, a bowl, a good cheesecloth. I've made the mistake of not buying a good one in the past, but if you buy, if you buy a good one you can reuse it over and over again if you take care of it. Um, I put these crushed vanilla beans in my almond milk because I think it adds a good flavor. So I have that and then I have the jar for the almond milk. Um, so overnight I soaked these almonds. It's two cups. And so now I'm going to rinse them out. So just soak them overnight and rinse them. And then throw them into the blender. additives and sugar so that's kind of like why I like to make my own. So I take two cups of almonds plus four cups of water, put it in here, and then I throw in a little bit of vanilla bean. Probably use about one and a half teaspoons. I can't seem to find my teaspoon measurement because I have toddlers and I think they hit it somewhere. So this is a half a teaspoon. I'm measuring one and a half teaspoons of vanilla bean. This stuff is heaven in a bottle. It smells awesome and it has a really good flavor. And it makes things appear sweet even when they're not. So let me just fire up the vitamin. parchment paper because there's going to be a leftover meal and you can use that meal in baking but you have to dry it out in the oven. So I take my cheesecloth and I put it over the strainer and I like to do it in small amounts at a time because it can get messy. So just pour a little bit of the almond milk in there and you basically milk it. You just kind of take the cheesecloth up in your hands like this and then just squeeze all the liquid out. And so you got to kind of repeat that, these steps over again. So that's basically it. You can do this with all nuts. Uh, I've tried hazelnuts, I've tried almonds. And I've also tried hemp seeds, which is kind of similar, but you don't really need to squeeze out the liquid. So, I just take the leftover meal and I throw it onto my parchment lined baking sheet. And I just repeat these steps over and over again until all the almond milk has been gathered in the bowl here. And so, once I have all of the milk in here, I just take a funnel, which I have right here, and I put it over the mason jar, which I like to use these to store my almond milk. Um, but you got to remember when you have it in the fridge, and this homemade almond milk doesn't have chemicals in it, you're going to have to shake it because it will separate in the fridge. So basically, just repeat these steps over and over again until it's done. And then you take your liquid and you pour it in here and you store it and it should be good for, I don't know, about a week or so. Mine never lasts that long. So, that's about it. Thank you. Bye.